Welcome to First Years. In this lesson I'm learning to find halves, quarters and other fractions of sets and shapes. Let's imagine over here uh, I've got a chocolate bar and I want to share that chocolate bar between two people. So I need to decide where am I going to put a cut in this chocolate bar to split it into two pieces so that each person gets an even part. Well, if I put a cut down through there, that looks pretty even to me. I can see that this half here looks the same as this half here. And there's one way that I could check that. If I take this shape down here and set it right underneath, you can see they're exactly the same size. Let's put that back up there. Now we can record what we've done like this. We've split this whole chocolate bar into halves. This part of the fraction, this bottom part, is called the denominator. And it tells us how many equal parts the whole has been split into. So here we had one whole which was split into two parts, which is why the denominator is a two. Now let's look at this uh, sandwich down here. See if you can work out how many ways I could split this shape into halves. One way I could do it is by putting a line through there. Another way that I could do it is by putting a line through there, so I'm splitting it into halves that way. Or I could do it on a diagonal, going from that corner to that corner there. Or I could do it from this corner there to that corner there. So that's four different ways that I could split that shape in half. Now over here I've got a pizza which I want to share between four people, so they all want an equal part each. So to share this pizza up, first I'm going to split this pizza in half. So you can see that this top half is the same size as the bottom half. Now let's see what happens when I split both of these halves in half. I can do that by going, oh, not a very straight line, but down through the middle here. So if I'd done that with a ruler, you would see that I had each of these four pieces would be the same size as the other pieces. So I've split this pizza into quarters. Now remember that this four here is the denominator, and that tells us how many even pieces that this whole was split into. So we had one, two, three, four even pieces, so that's why my denominator is four. Now if we go down a little bit further, you can see I have a big can of tennis balls, and there are eight tennis balls in that can. You can count them up. Now I want to work out how many tennis balls would I have if I had to give half of those to another class. Well I have to think how can I cut this shape in half? Well I could do a line that goes through there. And I can see that half of those tennis balls, or half of the eight, means I would have to give four tennis balls to another class and keep four of them for myself. Now let's imagine four classrooms wanted to share those tennis balls, so I'd have to split them into four even amounts. Well I can do that by putting a line through here. I've got this line halfway and this line here. So now this uh, total amount of tennis balls has been shared into four even groups. I can also say that they've been shared into quarters, because remember this denominator here tells me how many even groups this whole has been shared into. So a quarter of the eight that we started with means that each class would get two tennis balls, because as you can here see here, two would go to say class one, the next two would go to class two, the next two to class three, and the last two oops, class three, and the last two to class four. I hope you found this lesson was helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.